Hey guys, and welcome back to the Collect the Magic channel and another episode of The Boardroom. My name is Sean. My name is Brett. And we're continuing our playthrough of 1313 Dead End Drive. This might be the last episode of this game because there's not many people left in the game. Um, let's recap the last. Uh, very successful uh, it was uh, for me. A lot. I think this, the last past episode, was the most eventful episode of all. Um, he's got sassy. He, <laughs> I was trying to push him back with sassy because I had three run for it, and he was at first getting worried because yeah. I, I was just about I could just push her trying back. to get her to a trap. Way in the corner, I could have done and I lucked out I and I played a run for a card and I got double, so that was yeah, even luckier. Dumb. And um, I got her out of the mansion, so I collected eight million dollars. I'm up to eleven million dollars. And how much money do you have? The only way I could actually either have a chance, I would have to get. All that on yeah. the board, or you'd have to collect. Tie. You could be a tie. That, or you could get the other air cards too. Yes, because you don't know where everything else is. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's left there. So um, I need to get the who died in the last one. I think Dusty, Dusty? got killed off, and Beauregard the third got killed off. So two people got killed off. Um, Pierre has revenge much. He's killing off my players. Wait, <laughs> Pierre and Madame Astra each have one million dollars <laughs> left, and uh, the pets apparently are hoarding all the money now. Pugsley has four million dollars. Poopsie has $2 million. The Pet Pals Retirement Home is still at zero. I don't know how we've managed to do that, but, uh, and we're getting closer to the bottom of the deck, so that Clock Strikes Midnight card could come, but if we knock everybody yeah. off, or everybody's gone, game's over as well. So let's go ahead and enter our first turn. Brett, there are the dice. Yep, let's do it. We this. do three turns per player per game, so six turns, or per episode. After you guys realized I was a doubles man, and I always said, let's hope for a doubles, well, you finally got it. Finally Two got fives. it. Do you want to use them both together, or do you want to separate them? I am going to use, actually, both um, separate. Separate, okay, that's an interesting strategy. So I'm going to move the dog one, two, three, four, and five. On the fireplace, interesting. I think I know why he's doing that. Um, and then you have five that you can do. Oh yeah, pick your trap card. Move any pawn to the, the art, art room, room, which is over here. So you can do that at the end of your turn, because that's be a trap card on the trap card. He's on to play it right so away. I will actually move. Pierre yeah. here. One, two, three, four, four, five. You're not up yet. You have one space left to go. And then I will actually use this. Move one pawn to the art room. Who do you want to move to the art room? Or are you not? You're moving Madame Astra? Yep. Yeah. Oh, up to the top. So take another trap card. Well, discard that one and take another trap card. Take another air yes. card, which you need. I need. <laughs> you need an air card. So go ahead and take that. Dusty, I'm Dusty's dead, so it doesn't matter. Card's out of play, he can't redraw. So I would have used that if Dusty was still alive. She was the one that had the big money. She did. She had what, six million? Yeah, six million. And then million. she put it to Sassy, now I have that. So uh, I think that ends your turn, unless you'll yes. use another card. Um, you have actually, so many cards to use. Actually, I might just, use, I'm going to use Run for it. I'm going to take a little chance on here. All right, who are you going to make Run? So a four and, and a two, two, so six. Who are you going to make? I'm going to use it on the cat. Okay, move the cat. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now remember, now you, she's under the boar's head. I think you have a card to activate the boar's head, am I right? So, nope. I'm oh, you don't? Time. Okay. Well, if the cat dies, that money goes to Pet Pal's retirement home, which is not good. Oh. Ouch. Clock strikes midnight. Game over. So, after the third time we've drawn that after card. After the third time. First but... episode, he drew it on his first trap card at the top of the deck. Uh, the second time he drew it, it was like th this next episode, the second card we drew. So... But this is far enough down yeah, to end the game. So, because only four people are left. So, Pugsley, Poopsie, Pierre, and Madame Astra all live in the mansion now. They're all in the mansion. None of them, their money counts because it's still in the will. Let's reveal our cards quick. I had Pugsley and Poopsie. I had both pets. That's why I was stressing so bad. Don't kill them because of the Pet Pals Retirement Home. The Pet Pals Retirement Home means <laughs> nothing. All that means is the money gets out of the game. I didn't care if the money was out of the game. I just wanted them not to die so I could get them out of the mansion. And then I had Madame Astra, who I didn't really care if she died because she only had a million dollars. Who did you have? I had the chef. Which I figured you had him because you were moving him further away from a trap and then for some odd reason you moved him closer to one. Um, just to get try to get a new hair card. <laughs> yeah, a new hair card, which is really weird. And we killed off most of the people. Yep. Uh, we killed off, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people, which is pretty good. Um, so now let's count up our money. I well, have, we know that how much I had. I, I have million. Sassy, who had $8 million. 
Prudence had 1 million and Sedgwick had 2 million. And so that gives me a grand total of 8, 9, 10, 11 million dollars. Who did you get out of the mansion? I just got Prudence out of the mansion. With he got 1 million dollars. So I am the winner. And we're going to be keeping track yes. of who wins these games yep. to see who, what our records is. So right now my record is 1 win and no losses. And you are... Unfortunately, I'm 0 and 1. But all I have to one. say to all those fans of, on my side right now, R-E-L-A-X. To Sean. Relax. <laughs> all right, all right, Packer fan over there, Mr. Rogers. Uh, all right. He's a, he's a Green so, Bay Packers fan. I mean, it's, it's yeah. You'll hear a lot of Packer references. Uh, but that's going to do it for this yeah, game. I, well, was, let's, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this game. Also, going to wrap it up for this episode. Yes. Uh, what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to review the game and let you know what we thought about it. So stay tuned for that episode and then stay tuned for another game because we're yes. going to be playing another yep. game too. So, uh, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button and give us a comment and let yes, us know what you really thought. We really appreciate everything that you do for us and um, even suggest what games, like we said in the past, suggest games where we can play and we can get, we'll look into it and we'll get it for you. Just be realistic about it. Be realistic about it. Don't go to yes. like vintage game from the 50s. We ain't gonna get that. <laughs> uh, I'm not paying $600 for a board game, you yes. know, five or six bucks I can, I can, I can uh, swing. But um, also, uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed already because then you'll be the first to know when more episodes of the boardroom are going to be uploaded. Um, like we said, this is the end of the game, but it's not the end of the episodes because we're going to still review the game. Yes. So that's going to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you later.